the other side of things. So we want to look at some lifecycle management um, and utilization of uh, tooling within Microsoft outside of uh, monitor, you know, the, the usual DevOps aspect as well. So the DevOps brand product within um, Azure is split into you know, these kind of six um, areas. So um, predominantly um, pipelines is what people mean when they talk about DevOps. So you can see there that the top middle aspect now being able to to to, to build you know, config, continuous integration and delivery into our, our environment, being able to, to define a, a pipeline into you know, your, your different environments from staging, test, you know, into production, you know, how you can continuously improve and iterate aspects of your application, or maybe you want to start linking that in with testing. So you see in the, 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 the bottom left there, you know, making test plans. So, so when your developers are, are doing something, you know, increasing functionality, bug fixing, you know, patching, whatever they're doing, how do you go about testing at the moment? I know test is notoriously you know, expensive and difficult to coordinate, but you know, how can you start automating that and in including that in, in some of your pipelines so that you can start promoting code you know, effectively and efficiently with a high degree of success? You know, I want to make sure that I run through these tests. Yep, they've run through, we're happy, off you go, you can get promoted to the next stage and then you know, it, the, 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 the testing and release schedule will happen. If it fails, here you go, developer, it failed on this, you know what's, what's going on, so let's crack on and, and get that fixed. And yeah, the next sprint of activity will hopefully get that through the test plan as well. Um, repos repositories, as you can imagine, you know, it's um, you know, Microsoft procurement of um, GitHub as well has also is accelerated some of this. But having you know centralized repositories of code isn't something that was you know invented overnight. This has been around in software development for you know decades. I mean, having that that single source of of code repository of code where we can we can pull we can branch we can we can make sure that we 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 manage and coordinate our, our source code which is yeah, all important to um our, our development function as well we also are able to deliver coordination of, of these different bits of work so understanding you know an agile methodology to, to to delivering this highly iterative approach to development you know we've got all the tooling in place place We've got you know, a cloud native application that's able to take advantage of some of the platform tooling within Azure. We're monitoring it, we're understanding what's going on, we know what our users are doing, we've we've identified development opportunities, we've we've allocated you know sprints and and, and development cycles to help us to, to enhance this product. How are we coordinating that? You know, we're probably using other tools at the moment or you know, Kanban boards that we've we've got elsewhere, you know, you name it, but you know the, introducing you know you know something like azure boards allows you to to, to 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 tap into that wider ecosystem of tooling as well so yeah it's an inherently connected to to the environment via via azure you know the test plans and the pipelines but also it's 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 tied into some of the uh, the wider m365 assets that you've got at your disposal as well so you have know, things like teams power apps you know office um, outlook you know all, all these different components so i want to use teams as my, my communication channel you know i've got different dev teams that are, are within teams you, know, you can utilize and, and configure you know the boards aspect of that to to coordinate resources and keep a plan to track what's going on within your team so i know that my developers are working on bug fix 1494 yep yeah, how do i know that because you know it's on the board that's demonstrated in teams i can update the team say hey guys what's going on um, when are you due to ship this to test? Yep, okay, I'm doing it next week. I'm working on this bug and this bug. Okay, brilliant. You know, you've got that complete end-to-end -end, you know, ecosystem of tools, which you know, is what makes Azure very powerful and that the whole you know, ecosystem um, within that as well. Awesome. So I've got a couple of scenarios I want to walk through. I know we're, we're stretched for time, so um, we'll at least do one. So, oh dear, let's, let's do this one. So um, can I... What a pipeline can deliver for us. So we've talked about it. Um, you know, this is a really simplistic, high-level um, um, pipeline. But ultimately, you know, th this this example that we've got here you know, is providing that that CI/CD um, you know application to 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 start with you know pushing code from our Git repository. You know, it, it's using Git. You can see there. Um, in, in, in the repo, so yeah, we, we've we've built and installed Git. We're using that as a, a managed source control for some of the infrastructure's code templates. 
also allowing you know, the build systems to create and package artifacts and release and utilize the deployment pipelines to release that as well. And um, we're using you know, the, the DevOps um, test functionality at the top to dead down resources that aren't being used. So if we walk through the data flow that we've got there, you see our lovely gentleman at the bottom, you can see about it's quite small on my screen, but you know, ultimately we will walk through the, the different stages. So developers um, doing what he does best or she does best, um, working on um, certain component of development work, um, they're ready to uh, you know, change an application source code, ready to 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 do something. Um, you know, stage one, they're, they're working on Visual Studio and they're 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 working away um, until they're in a position to get to stage two, which is yeah, I'm going to commit this application code. So I'm I'm happy with what I've done. Um, so let's commit that to the repository We're using Azure. Um, you know, the Git repositories there. Um, Arm will then utilize um, you know, configuration integration triggers and, and then start the application build for unit testing. So in, in number three, we're going to start getting services for, for unit testing. So we move on to stage four, which is allowing us to um, trigger the orchestration of a deployment of application artifacts that are within you know, our environment specific parameters. We then get to stage five, which is allowing us to um, go through a QA environment. So we're saying, OK, I've committed code. I've, I've provisioned all the assets that I need to test this. Um, let's walk through um, some of the, the test lab um, QA just to make sure that we are in a position to um, understand that, that that can be run successfully <clears throat> until we get to you know, running that in a staging environment. So number six there. Let's not put that in straight into production. Let's make sure we we have some control over it. We've talked about you know, slot allocation um, earlier, so potentially there are different slots within your application that you can you can use, or it could be a completely separate reference environment. Um, you know, let's get that through that environment until we are in a position to make that live into production via number seven. All of the time, Application Insights is sat in the background. It's collecting data, it's analysing health, it's looking at performance and usage data, going through you know, my QA, how, how is it behaving? Don't know what's happened to the screen there. OK. Um, and kind of allowing and supporting the, um, the validation of, of the code as it gets promoted from the QA into staging, into production as well. Um, then we can look at you know, stage nine, which is about you reviewing that health and performance and usage information. You know, based on that, will allow us to update you know, the backlog items utilizing the, the, the boards within um, Azure DevOps as well. So you know, it's a really simplistic you know, dev release mechanism utilizing CI CD pipelines. Um, you know, DevOps is the, the DevOps tool set is, is central to that, utilizing you know, the plan boards, um, sorry, the, the, the Azure. DevOps boards, um, the repositories for code um, change, and then yeah, the, the release of you know, the infrastructure as code, um, the release um, and the configuration of code between the different reference environments, all being captured by App Insights in the background. So I won't go into the next one. Um, if we've got time at the end, I might come back around to it, but appreciate we're running over a little bit. So we'll pass on to Liam for the next bit. And then we've got James on the call as well now, which yeah. James has joined the call, so what I'll do is I'll switch the two um, sections around. So, um, hi everybody. So, so James has uh, joined the call. James is from Microsoft, and he's just going to be running through sort of the ISV um, approach from Microsoft and the commitment to to you guys in terms of um, go to market approach and um, how they can support you um, to be successful. Shall I jump in? Go for it, James. The okay. floor is all yours. <laughs> 